everybody and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video I'm going to be reviewing the Body Shop Drops of Youth range. I've already reviewed the Vitamin C range and the Tea Tree range so go back and check on my channel if you want to go and watch those videos. My favourite range that they actually do is the Vitamin C range so I think that's one of my favourite videos that I filmed. But basically in this video I'm going to go through all of the products that I've tried, give my opinion and my review. Again this is just my opinion, obviously everybody has their own opinions but this is mine based on my experience with the product. So some things I can actually physically show you, some things I can't show you because I've run out of them and haven't repurchased and some things that I haven't actually tried. So what I'm going to do is if I've not tried the product I'm just going to read reviews off their website because my laptop is literally sitting right here. We are in an autumn background. This is going to be my new autumn background. I actually really like this. Like over three years ago when I first started this channel, I would literally be at home and I would love to make like my backgrounds look really nice and have like autumn vibes or like Christmas vibes. And now I kind of slack on that, but we're back. I've got a little tree here. Look how cute that is. And um, yeah, I'm ready to go. So without further ado, let's get into the video. So first of all, I'm gonna show you products that I can actually physically pick up and show you, and then I will go through the ones I can't show you, and then um, at the end of the video, I'll go through the ones that I haven't tried. First of all, we have the Body Shop, obviously, it's the Body Shop range, but we first of all have the Drops of Youth Liquid Peel. These liquid peels in general are actually quite popular at the body shop. They've got the drops of light one, this one, and then the vitamin C one. I originally tried the vitamin C one. I really, really like that. It makes my skin feel really clean and really glowy after I've used it. And I've literally just run out of that one. I did also have this one because when I used to do the body shop at home, I did also have this one as well. I think I used it for samples or something. But yeah, I really like this one as well. But I think I definitely do prefer the vitamin c one i might do a whole video on their liquid peels just to kind of show how to use them and like what they're for but basically you just take a little bit rub it into your skin anywhere on your body but i just use it on my face and actually on my feet as well i use it on my feet when i have a little foot pump a day and then it will rub off any kind of excess dry skin or dead skin cells or anything like that and i genuinely like i was very skeptical when i first tried their liquid peels and i thought you know is it just formulated so that it will like you know peel off you peel off itself if you know what i mean like is the formula of the product so that when it hits your skin and you start to go like that like the heat of your skin etc it will actually start to kind of peel up and you know whatever i did it one day and there was loads you know on my skin because i hadn't exfoliated in ages and then i tried it again the next day and because i'd already done it the day before literally hardly anything came off my face so they do work i am really pleased with this and i would recommend them as just part of your like little skincare routine it isn't an exfoliator it's different to an exfoliator i exfoliate with a scrub as well as using this i use this once a week but you could use it more than once a week i used to use it like three times a week but i just that's my routine right now love this product smells really nice and yeah, if you're going to get a liquid peel, I personally would recommend the vitamin C one. But obviously this is drops of youth. It's meant to make your skin look youthful. So it depends what kind of vibe you're going for. But what the heck am I doing? Oh my God, I've been clicking on things. All I know is that when I've used a liquid peel, my skin feels so soft after I've used it. So loving that one, still using it, still liking it. Would I repurchase it? No, I would rebuy the vitamin C one. Why is my hair so messy? Ow. Ow. I would rate that product... The Drops of Youth one, I would rate an 8 out of 10. And also price-wise, it costs... Jesus Christ, this website is annoying me. Everything keeps popping up. Um, it costs £18.50, which I think is quite expensive, but it will last you a long time. Next up, we have a really good one. Now, this is actually a product empty. I probably mentioned it in a Body Shop Empties video that I did a while ago, if you wanna go and check that out. But this is the Drops of Youth Essence Lotion. This is an absolute favorite of mine. I have mentioned this many, many times before, and I've tried a couple of their other essence lotions on their website. I've tried the Oils of Life one and the Firming Lotion. I think it's like, it's in a red packaging, I can't remember what it's called, but it's about firming and it's, you know, for slightly older people. 
heck knows why I've got it. But anyway, this one I really, 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 really loved. I don't know if it works in terms of anti-aging or anything like that because I wouldn't be able to tell because I don't really have any wrinkles yet. But it's so, 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 so hydrating. Like, honestly, when I put this on my skin, I can see how hydrated my skin is. And it's so tacky. Like, you put it on your skin and you just feel how tacky it is. Some people would hate that. They would hate it because they may want their products to blend in and then you don't feel it on the skin. This, it does sink in after a while. But when you initially put it on, it's kind of sticky. But in a good way. I like that. And my skin does feel really hydrated. And in the morning, my skin never gets dry. It's just nice and plump that's how i would describe this product it makes my skin feel plump when i use it and also the next day so yeah i really really love this and i will be repurchasing this at some point but i still have things to kind of use up this costs 15 pounds is it worth the money? I think if someone's got a discount, oh, talking about discounts actually, whenever I buy Body Shop products, I'm actually buying off this girl now. She's called Emily. She's so nice. Like she is genuinely really, really nice. I'm gonna buy all my stuff off her now if I ever need anything from the Body Shop. I've recently just purchased the Himalayan charcoal mask. So hopefully that will come at some point and I will show you in a video. But yeah, she said to me, cause I said, oh, please can I link your page in my video description just in case anybody wants to use her somebody that's trusted and she said that if you message her on facebook or on her group or anything then you can use the code georgie15 so just tell her the code and that gets you 15 percent off so yeah i'll link her facebook group and also her instagram as well so just message her on there and just say oh georgie said um that this is her code georgie15 so i'll leave it on the screen and you can have 50 percent off so I thought I would just mention that um, somebody that's trusted and also somebody that I really like. And I didn't know her. She's not somebody that I know from school or anything. I met her through the internet and I really like her. So I just wanted to mention that. And she's bought some things off my website before as well. So thank you very much. But back to this product, I would rate this a nine out of 10. I really, really love this. And finally, for things that I can actually show you physically right now, we have this. This is the Drops of Youth gentle foaming wash so this is a cleanser actually i am going to be making a video before christmas i've got all of my videos planned out from now until christmas because this is my favorite time of year and i like to plan and organize but i've got a video coming up before christmas where i'm going to be reviewing all of the cleansers that i've tried from the body shop because there's quite a few i'm not going to lie and what i like about them what i dislike about them etc which one's the best ones which one's the worst ones and why so that video is going to be coming in like a month or so i'm not sure but this is probably going to be included i'm definitely going to be included in that video but this is a foam wash and basically i have run out of it now I ran out a while ago. When when it comes to foam washes, they obviously are very liquidy in the actual like packaging. And then when you pump the product out, <gasps> little bubbles came out. Yeah, look, there we go. Foam comes out. Obviously it's just got a little bit left in it, but it's a foam consistency like that. And you might think like, oh, is that really gonna cleanse my skin properly? You know, it's a foam, it's come from a liquid. It's not really something that can be like lathered up. When actually, yes, it is. I literally like rubbed it into my skin and it smelled so nice. My skin felt so fresh after using it. Definitely one of my favorites. Little spoiler alert for that video that's coming soon, but this is definitely one of my favorites. Really like this. I think I personally like it because it makes my skin feel really clean and fresh. And when I cleanse my skin, that is obviously what I want. Some people like cleansers that make their skin feel really soft and kind of more hydrated. However, I prefer something that is a little bit more kind of cleaning and slightly more on the harsher side that just makes my skin feel like it is really, really clean and refreshed. And then I will go in with hydrating products like a moisturizer. So that um, wash is £10, so quite a decent price. I personally think it lasted me quite a long time and I would rate that an 8.5 out of 10. I really like that one. So next I'm going to be going through things that I can't physically show you but I've still tried. So I have the Drops of Youth Concentrate. Now I think they may have reformulated this recently since I've tried it. Not sure. I think it says somewhere about that in the catalogue. I don't know. Don't quote me on that. But the one that I got I think was 30 mil. Yeah I think it's 30 mil and it's 26 pounds. So it is quite pricey i do think it's quite pricey i probably have the empty of it in my cupboard but i can't be bothered to go and find that but yeah it is quite expensive and it is what some people would describe as a substitute for botox 
Do I agree with that? You know, probably not, but maybe like long-term results, you might get that. I find it a little bit annoying when I see people that have posted a picture saying one week after using this product and then on the first picture they've got wrinkles and on the second picture they have none. You need to understand like when you're seeing these pictures, there is face smoothing apps out there. I use them myself on my Instagram pictures, you know, it smooths out your skin a little bit. I tend to just smooth like here, here and here. So the rest of my face isn't really smoothed out, but that's the kind of thing that they would do to try and market you the product. So it can be a little bit misleading. But with a product like that, it's not gonna be instant results. It's gonna be something that's gonna take a little bit of time at least. So just bear that in mind. But I don't have personal experience with whether that works or not because it's not aimed at my skin type just yet because I'm too young for this product, only just. Um, but yeah, I liked how hydrating it felt. It kind of reminded me slightly of this um, hydrating essence lotion because this one's a bit more thinner consistency. But that one, um, the drops as you use concentrate is a lot thicker again like it says concentrated you only need a small like a really small amount a little goes a long way so it will last you quite a long time even though it is kind of expensive in my opinion but yeah i i would say to really do your research into that product don't just look at you know if somebody's selling the product they may not give honest reviews if you know what I mean you want to get reviews from people that genuinely have tried it so look on their website that kind of thing I don't have time on this video to go through all the comments and all the reviews for every single product I'm just going to do that on the ones I haven't tried but yeah in my experience really really nice maybe if you're in the kind of 30 plus category that'll be a good one to go for but for me it just I couldn't see any results it was very hydrating and I really liked that fact about it but I'm not gonna, you know, make stuff up and say you're gonna look like an absolute model when you use that product. The Drops of Youth Concentrate, I would rate a, a six out of 10 because I just don't know if it worked or not. Then we have the Drops of Youth Bouncy Eye Mask. I tried that on the website. They make it look like it's quite big. It's actually not, it's a really small little pot, but basically it's kind of like a I was going to say a bouncy consistency, but what does that even mean? It's like a jelly consistency. You press it and it's like, you know, like kind of bouncy. I don't know what I'm on about, but you take a little bit of it, pop it under your eyes and it must meant to kind of reduce wrinkles under your eyes, etc. Bouncy eye mask. Um, it, it's meant to make your under eyes look a lot younger in terms of wrinkles and things like that. Just look like you've got a lot of energy. Get rid of kind of dark circles and that kind of thing. But personally, I pass that on to my mom because I just thought like, do I really need this product at this stage of my life? You know, do, do I actually enjoy wearing it? You know, it was quite sticky and I didn't really like having something that was so sticky underneath my eyes. I have an eye cream now that well an eye gel so it's kind of similar in a way and it just sinks into the skin really quickly whereas this one's a lot more stickier and you can really feel it and to have something that's kind of sticky under your eyes can actually get quite annoying so just bear that in mind but overall i can't really give a rating on this product because if i'm honest i'm not the biggest fan of it i'd probably give it a four out of ten but i'm sure that there's people out there that really love it and they really get benefits from it but for me i just didn't really like the consistency of it or anything like that and it is £18, so in my opinion, that is quite expensive. It's expensive for me. Some people go out there buying like £100 products or £200 products. It's expensive for me and my budget and my money. Some people would look at this and say, that's really cheap for an eye cream. But for me and my little budget, I think in comparison to the other products, it's a little bit expensive. And then finally, for things that we've tried, I have the Drops of Youth Concentrate Sheet Mask. Their sheet masks that they have on the website are five pounds. I think that is expensive. Five pounds for a sheet mask that you use once. That is really expensive in my opinion. I know there are sheet masks out there that are a hundred pounds, which just makes me feel uncomfortable about life but five pounds and you use it once. I know some people say that you could like put it back in the packaging, put it in the fridge or whatever and use it again. I don't really do that. I put the mask on my face and then leave it on for 15 minutes, take it off, any excess that's in the actual like packet, I will wipe onto my skin and onto my face just so that I get maximum benefits from that product. And I only ever would buy these if I was gifted them from friends or anyone or if I, had a discount on them because I really love sheet masks 
but five pounds is expensive they used to be four pounds but they upped the price heavens knows why um but yeah it feels super hydrating this is the one that feels so hydrating on your skin plumping the skin if you want your skin to be really kind of plump and hydrated and just super super like i don't know like you just feel like water is in your skin then this is the one to go for so it is nice i would rate it an 8 out of 10 but for the price i just think just do you know what i mean does anybody else understand what i'm saying i don't know maybe i'm just being silly but yeah and then for the things that i haven't tried we have i will literally just read off their website um and try and be quick the drops of youth cream sorry the drops of youth youth cream it says it helps your skin look beautiful bouncy and feel softer bouncy skin as bouncy as a trampoline the older you get the drier your skin becomes so you need more moisturizing hydrating products very true i think this is just something that you use daily almost like a moisturizer so yeah that's just what i think but i personally think you know the vitamin c moisturizer is where it's at there's 218 reviews. Overall star rating is 4.6 out of 5. Someone said it's a must buy, best face cream I've ever used. Somebody said it's a beautiful smell and not greasy. Someone else said it's amazing, my skin was glowing. Now let's have a look at the not so good reviews. Right, these are the bad reviews. Bear in mind that, you know, everybody's opinion's different. Somebody said, a poor moisturizer. This cream had absolutely no effect on the fine lines and didn't add much moisture either. Either It's definitely not an anti-aging product. Also, if I applied makeup after applying the cream, it left a white residue on my skin. Hmm, interesting. Um, total waste of money, wouldn't buy it again. Sometimes when you apply makeup on top of skincare products, they can actually react and create like some kind of pilling effect or like peeling of certain things in the products, which I've experienced before, but not with this product because I haven't used it. Um, somebody just put, it's nearly all chemicals and then listed all the chemicals. To be fair, quite a lot of products are all chemicals, but um, no comment on that one then we have the drops of youth eye concentrate oh yeah that drops of youth cream is 23 pounds don't know if i mentioned the drops of youth eye concentrate this is 20 pounds i think this is expensive um okay so apparently it refreshes and awakens your eye area it's enriched with elder elder plant stem cells and it says our unique applicator instantly refreshes the eye contour and smooths the appearance of fine lines i think it's like a metal kind of applicator which would be quite cooling and would be quite nice to you know use uh, under the you know the eye area and also it prevents kind of bacteria from your hands so maybe that's good i don't know um but it's 20 pounds and it's 10 milliliters um so yeah 123 reviews it's got a 4.2 out of 5 star rating the good uh, reviews it says it's soothing and it reduces bags immediately mm -hmm. uh, somebody just said love this product it's very refreshing somebody said it's botox in a bottle and um, they notice a massive improvement under their eyes after 10 days now for the bad reviews not the best purchase i've always used the drops of youth but this product is a waste of money the rollerball drags your skin you may as well just get your all oh right so if it drags the skin that's not good because they always say to not drag under this area because it can cause wrinkles so maybe that's not a good thing to go for sorry my camera just cut off if you kind of experienced that um disappointing the rollerball is very stiff and not much product comes out until you squeeze it but you then end up with too much I felt a slight coolness when the product was applied, but I would not say this made any difference. I would recommend the Aloe Eye and Lip Contour Care instead. At least they made a recommendation of a different product. That's a good, that's a good, honest review. Right, so we've got that one. Yeah, one more product. The Drops of Youth Bouncy Sleeping Mask. This is £26, so okay in price range. Um, what does it do for you? Um, you just use it overnight. Put it on your skin overnight it's meant to make your skin feel plumper replenished refreshed i agree that it probably will make your skin feel quite plump because some of the other products like this one um does does make my skin feel plump ratings oh that's 26 pounds for 75 mil by the way um but ratings was or is there's 223 reviews and it's a 4.5 out of 5 star rating Somebody says it's absolutely amazing. I wake up my skin feeling and looking so soft and so fresh. 
Oh, somebody put, it's okay. I bought this because my skin had started feeling dry in the daytime. I'm not keen on the texture. It's too jelly-like and therefore hard to get the right amount out of the jar. Yeah, the bouncy sleeping eye mask is very jelly-like and like she said, it's hard to get out of the jar. I agree with that for that. So I feel like it's probably a similar product to the eye one. Somebody says it smells beautiful and feels good, but blah 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 so actually the reviews on this are not actually the greatest because this is meant to be um usually they promote like the best pro uh, reviews first but they've kind of had a mixture so yeah not the best and i think that's everything yeah that's everything from the drops of youth range that's everything that i've tried myself or just reading reviews of things that I haven't tried. You know, I can't try everything, not every product is meant for me. I am going to be reviewing other ranges in the future, not entirely sure which ones just yet, but stay subscribed for that. And also if you're interested in the cleansers video, please stay subscribed. Any body shop content I will still be doing on my channel. Remember to go and check out the link to Emily's Facebook and Instagram if you wanna purchase anything and use my code Georgie15 for 15% off. But hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe, give the video a thumbs up and I will see you in my next video.